Hi, you guys. Welcome to my February makes video where I show you like a little bit of a show and tell all the things that I was able to sew last month. Uh, if you saw my February plans video, then you kind of have an idea of where we are going or what the intention was um, in terms of my February sewing. So let's see what I was actually able to sew, all right? First and foremost, we have the Sew Together 22 project, which for February was like pajamas slash loungewear. Everyone made the Love Notions Tranquil Nightwear. Um, you guys saw this in a Make It Monday review video where I did the little um, jersey knit with the lilies and the little pink and black dot kind of the asymmetrical vibe here using fabric from June and Lou. This set turned out so cute. I have been wearing it nonstop, which is why I don't have it to like hold up in the video today because it's literally in the wash because I've worn it so, 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 so much. Um, it really is living up to kind of all the dreams and hopes that I had for it in terms of being able to sleep in it and then roll out of bed and go get a coffee or go check the mail or take the girls for a walk. And I don't feel like I'm wearing pajamas. Um, I can even like roll quickly, like throw on some jeans, like rip off the shorts, throw on jeans, and I can like go run an actual errand if I really needed to because that top is so cute. It looks like a regular t-shirt. Um, okay, so that was Sew Together 22. That's kind of one of my goals too, is to start adding um, more like craft projects and more stuff like for the dogs, stuff that is useful, like not sewing a craft for the sake of sewing a craft, but sewing things other than clothes. I don't know if it's just because like it feels like different, so it keeps my creativity going, or if it's just because they're so fast that I'm able to crank out a whole bunch of them, and so that feels productive. But I'm feeling drawn to sewing like not garments sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. So this month I made <laughs> this little dog dress. I mean, come on, right? I'm going to be doing a whole pattern review on the dog pattern that I used for this, talking about the fabric, where I got it. It's obviously like dog themed, um, but this little thing turned out so cute. And the best news is, is that even though the dogs look to be different sizes, Honey is mostly hair. And so they can wear the same size dress. But I did have this other pattern and of course lots of that fabric left over. So I made a little doggy treat pouch. And the coolest part about this thing is it has little belt loops in the back. So you can put it on your belt, make a belt, make a tie for it. And so it's hands free. And then I also used a new product from Heat and Bond. It's called like liquid vinyl. And basically it's this like, think about Mod Podge, but for fabric, and then you can heat set it and it makes the fabric like vinyl. Um, it can get as thick, um, as waterproof and all of that as oil cloth. So again, I'm going to tell you guys all about that product and just sort of how it works and how to use it and all of that, um, in another video later this month, but this is the little kind of prototype <laughs> pattern that I used to see how that, um, product worked. Um, so, but then there's this little treat bag and then you can put it on your hip and <laughs> it happens to match your dress. So that's like a whole fun little, whole little fun little vibe. We talked about this last week. It is my Vogue, I think it's 1866 coat, um, out of this beautiful Italian wool plaid that I got from Mood, uh, fully lined, gorgeous, like flared sleeve, flared hemline, um, really, really pretty. Uh, little stand collar action, three uh, fabric covered buttons, and the side seam pockets. Finish this guy this month. This was one of those, like, this took up a whole weekend, but so worth it. And of course, the cutting and getting all the plaids to match and everything was like, that took a lot of time, but clearly so worth it. And because it's not interfaced, um, it's just lined, it is sort of a lighter weight wool coat perfect for spring probably more so for fall with the colorway but i just used fabric that i had in my stash so but yeah this turned out really good thank you for so much for all the support on the video it seems like you guys really liked it as well so um i love when all of that happens together i love it you love it you know it works out and there's definitely been times where i've loved something and you guys universally have said no you've lost it that is not it <laughs> Do, uh, should I say what um 
crinkle rayon jumpsuit does that ring any bells for anybody that's been watching my videos for a minute you guys hated that just hated it and i love it i still have it i love it i don't care what you guys say i really don't <laughs> but when i love it and you love it then it's just like 10 out of 10 you know what i mean okay so i also talked about in the plans video this little um wool set that i was making with sort of like a pencil skirt and a vest vests are coming back it's very 90s the whole 90s thing is happening again it's like rachel green 2.0 um maybe like late 90s is more of the vibe the um the vest did not get finished but i did get some of it done you can kind of see where we're going with it here this is the front and then this is the back with the little like you know tie thing so you can get an idea of what it is going to look like. I'm trying to be very delicate with it because none of this is stay stitched. <laughs> and I don't want to stretch it out. This, you know, wool can be a little bit shifty. But you can see in the front, it has that little curve to it. It's going to be really cute. I've got the lining almost sewn. I think I have like one side of it sewn or something. I don't know. The fabric is like, I don't want to mess with it too much. Um, so that's just a matter of a couple more hours and that will be done. You finish the lining, you sew them all together, turn it right side out, done. The skirt is very close to being done as well. I just have 45,000 buttons that I have to add to it. So I have all those buttons marked. That's what that is. It repeats over here on the other side, but this is that skirt. Oh, also needs a hem. As you can see, there's no hem. But you can get an idea for what this is going to be like. Cute little, I mean, from far away, it just looks black. But up close, it has all these little speckles in it. Really cute. And the coolest part is that since it's a wrap, it really is just one piece, like so. You know what I mean? And then it wraps around your body, like I just had it. Whoop, whoop. And um, yeah, and you've got this cute little wrap skirt that hopefully I will be able to make somewhat adjustable. That's, I think, why I've resisted putting the buttons on so far. I didn't have the button holes done because I want to make sure that. I put them in the right place. So I'm excited to finish that. Again, this is like another afternoon project and it will be done. Um, what else? Is that it? That might be it. So made a lot of progress on those two things. Finished an entire coat, finished an entire pajama set, finished some dog clothes. So I'm pretty proud. That's everything that I worked on in February. I would love to know what you made. Um, did you make something for someone for valentine's day um did you make something for yourself just let me know in the comment section to have a little brag sesh it's fine um and tell me what you were able to finish in february otherwise i will be back for my march plans video here very shortly and then i linked to the coat pattern review that's the most recent one that i did so i linked to that here in the insulate just click that bottom right box that you see there it'll take you right to the video otherwise check the description box for links and tons of information um we'll be for, we'll be waiting for you there <laughs> but that is going to do it for me today y'all thank you so much for watching i will see you all very soon bye